Hi everyone, and welcome along to today's video. So, I've been asked about central heating systems. What I want to try and work out for you to explain in the easiest way I can is how an indirect central heating system actually works. So, I'm probably going to have to go to a piece of paper in a minute, one of my bad drawings, to show you how it does. But first of all, I would just like to read to you some of the questions I've been given, and I'll read them out to you from my phone. Why is it I've got a wire plan heating system, motorised valve that diverts the hot water and the heating? And the heating system will need to clean, there's black water coming out of the radiators. And what the chap wants to know is why, when it switches to the hot water to feed the tank and heat the tank up, why doesn't the hot water come out all black and horrible like what's in the radiators? That's a good question. Also, we'll move on to the next one. I always thought the mid-position valve receives the hot water from the boiler and switches back and forth to send it either to our immersion water tank for storage or the radiators. Does this mean if we drain the system to clean the boiler, will it still function to give us hot water? If not, I presume I can use the immersion heater in the tank. So, really getting kind of confused here. I'll go to the last question. I won't go through any more because I've got quite a lot on this subject. The last one then is... If, when I drain the radiators and black water comes out and anywhere on the heating system a lot of times you get this mucky water no matter what you do well, how come that water doesn't come out of the hot tap when we run the water? This is quite a reasonable question I know it's easy for us plumbers and DIY people but it's a perfectly reasonable question so why does that not happen? Well, I'll make a little drawing for you right now. One of ours dodgy, dodgy drawings. Sorry about that, but you'll have to put up with that. And then I'll explain all to you. Okay, here we go. So, no complaints about my drawing. Okay. <laughs> here we have then. Boiler, hot water tank. And as most people see it and how it looks to the eye is obviously the hot water and the boiler heats up, comes up here into our freeway valve, so it's a bit of a rubbish drawing. And it gets diverted either to the radiators or to the hot water tank or both, depending what you call for at the boiler. And water goes in, comes back out, into the return, back into the boiler and so on, and round and round it goes and off round to your radiator circuit. We have the hot water tank and the flow goes out there to the taps, does all the taps, and the vent goes up there over the top of the roof tank. And a cold feed comes down there and feeds the tank and feeds it all. That's it. That's how we kind of look like it is, doesn't it? But that's not the case. So what I'm going to do now is draw in the missing details. Okay. Here we have the drawing then with the amendments done. And first one an F and E tank up in the loft okay it's got a little ball cock in it like your main one and it feeds into this tank the water comes down what we call the cold feed and into your heating circuit in this instance I'll put it going into the boiler but usually they're going to return somewhere and feeds the system but you're thinking well why can't this one do it surely that one feeds it doesn't it and that's where you can see the difference in this new drawing, this most important part here called the heat exchanger. Because when those pipes finish at your hot water tank, you just tend to think they just go into the tank and there's just the water, but there isn't. The, the things carry on, the pipes carry on through the tank into the middle and through this heat exchanger, which is completely sealed. So basically, this water that's in your copper tank doesn't mix with the water that goes around your boiler and heating system. It all stays separate. There is a vent pipe that goes up here, by the way, into there, but I've missed it out just for clarity. Um, but basically, that is the whole idea of an indirect heating system. That, that water in your boiler, the hot water heat exchanger, and all your radiators never mixes. So you can have hot water if you drain your system, your boiler out, you want to do in here, right? if you've got an immersion heater in there, for instance, because the water in here will stay full up. You can drain the boiler and heat now, you can see now that this tank would stay full up. You'd only empty the heat exchanger and obviously all the pipes and the radiators. You wouldn't empty the water inside the tank. You could therefore, as I say, use an immersion heater 
to heat the water for a while uh, if you could possibly afford to run one at the moment <laughs> and that's uh, that's another subject altogether so I'm hoping that's kind of explained a lot of things to you um, why you know, the, when the freeway valve switches uh, it doesn't sort of mix the water you know <laughs> because it's all sealed in its own little system and there you have it so that's it from me then. Thanks very much for watching and uh, catch you next time. Derek from 33, you know where to go. Thanks guys. Bye bye.